There exists an empire of short-form Minecraft content which has gathered more views than Dream and Technoblade combined. In just two weeks, 500k is 1 billion views. Fastest growing channel in YouTube's history. Some of them steal creations from smaller creators on daily basis. Providing no credit for any of the footage he uses. Taken from other YouTubers. Exactly the same. This is the shady world of short Minecraft videos. It was the start of 2021 and a fairly unknown Russian YouTuber built a small collection of YouTube channels. He liked to call himself Walkie and he posted everything from short Minecraft videos, Oi, dobry din. short blogs and even a few music videos. Over the three year presence on YouTube he managed to publish over 250 videos and also managed to build an audience of an approximately 360,000 subscribers. While everything seemed to be going according to plan, it wouldn't take long until this content creator would transform his content beyond recognition. Meanwhile, another content creator by the name Megamany started experimenting with the new content trend on YouTube, which was short-form videos. Starting with simple speed bridging and PvP content, he eventually found himself in Minecraft meme style of videos. The videos were a massive success and he managed to publish one viral video after another. He was uploading daily and soon he was gaining millions of views per day. People began to notice the success of Mega Manny. Voki was among those people and saw a huge opportunity, so he unlisted all of his videos on one channel and changed its name to Stevie. On March 4th, 2021, he published the first video on his new rebranded YouTube channel. In order to make his new channel grow quicker, he used Mega Manny's brand in the description to associate his content to Mega Manny's audience. The plan worked flawlessly and in about one week's time he went from getting 10 views per day to 10 million views per day. At this point he overthrew Mega Manny in subscriber count. After this it was just one milestone after another. 200,000 March 19th, 500,000 March 25th, 1 million April 18th. Stevie's rapid growth created an avalanche of new creators who seeked opportunity to recreate his success. One by one we got creators such as Perking, Spectator, Alexa Real and Axel, all of them doing similar style of content than Mega Manny and Stevie. The more channels joined, the faster the total views grew. Publishing multiple videos every day inevitably leads to boring ideas from other content creators. The problematic part became when some of these YouTubers started directly ripping others' creations, often providing little and sometimes even worse, no credit to the original creator at all. On September 2020, a Reddit user published this insane staircase design on r slash Minecraft. And exactly one year later Alexa Real published two videos where this exact same concept was used, with no credit to the author. One of the most well-known cases was when Stevie copied one of Mumbo's designs, but luckily Mumbo criticized Stevie for stealing his idea and so the video was unlisted by Stevie. Minecraft modders such as McMakistein have also had several of their builds taken by Stevie and others. One of the examples being the bending piston. While some of them at least stay the original creator, there are still a bunch of videos that do not mention the original creator anywhere. An interesting fact is also that these channels also massively copy content from one another, as they see what works and what doesn't. When I was writing the script for this video, I just couldn't believe how similar these videos are from one channel to another. Either they were almost identical match or the video was just slightly different in some small aspect. This raises an interesting question, what if all of those channel owners are connected in some way? It is also possible that channels like Stevie are ran by multiple persons, which would describe perfectly why they are using multiple Minecraft accounts and skins in their videos, but we may never know for sure. In October of 2021 I released a video where I showcased a working prototype for a video player in Minecraft. In May of 2022 someone posted this exact same concept to Reddit. Now I don't know whether he reinvented this by accident or if he copied the video, but nevertheless the video exploded in popularity on Reddit. And sure enough a few days later Stevie copied the idea. My original video now has 3000 views, while his video with the same concept has 111,000 views. In September of 2021 I released my biggest piston video ever, 
and that video is currently sitting at 7000 views up to this day. Stevie took my world download and even part of my video. His recreation of my video has now 584,000 views, plus another 78,000 on a short that he did about the same exact topic. The reason why these events bother us content creators so much is because we often spend weeks or even months making some creations. And then to see someone just literally spending a few minutes redoing your work and receiving 100 times more views, well, it is just unfair. These channels have now monetized their content, but that wasn't enough. Soon they began experimenting on other ways to earn even more. Stevie had tried selling merch, as well as trying to sell NFTs that would give you access to his own Discord, while Mega Man capitalized his community tab, where he promoted other smaller creators that were doing the exact same things. Even though these channels together have accumulated more than 5.5 billion views, which today represents about a half a percent of all Minecraft views ever, they are not really built on strong foundation. The YouTube algorithm that enabled these channels to grow one year ago is always changing, and now they're getting about 85% less views than they did at their peak. Content creators are trying to make it harder for them to get the world downloads, but the only way to put an end to this forever is to stop watching them. And instead, maybe check out this video.